My name is Dr. Sylvia Nambiru Mukasa, the Chief Executive Officer of Legal Aid Service Providers Network. I've told you that without a, state, a national legal aid scheme or a state-funded legal aid scheme, the effect is that you will not have lawyers that are providing legal aid, lawyers that provide services for free, lawyers that can be on watching brief to help survivors of gender-based violence. So if we don't have development partners, for example, if this huge basket fund of the democratic governance facility is not reinstated, I can assure you the effect is huge already. If they handle 60,000 cases a year through the legal service providers they fund, now if next year they are not here, like they were not there last year, they are not there this year, and next year they are not, you can imagine how many people will languish in the prison. You can imagine how many people will lose on succession rights. You can imagine how many people will be evicted from land. You can imagine how many women will be battered, or men, or even sexual gender-based violence that will happen, and no one is there to respond. It's a big, huge impact. And we need to look at it from economic losses and social losses. Yeah, we, if you can see the European Union intervening in one year and you see this kind of, I invite you to read the success stories. And you see this kind of impact and you see this kind of responsiveness. So if they are here, it means we shall continuously deal slowly by slowly, entrenching, educating and changing the mindset. Because the best way to, find, to fight gender-based violence is through mindset change. And so I can say that if we don't have the development partners, and again, we don't have the government of Uganda taking up the, the, the legal scheme, we shall be in a vacuum.